Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video tutorial is about object properties and there's a few different ways to change them just like there's a few different ways to do everything in AutoCAD. So starting with a simple line and double clicking on it it'll bring up the properties palette which shows everything that will describe the geometry of that line start point and end point. I can hide the palette or just close it all together if I don't want it on the screen. Another way of looking at the properties of any object is to just find the properties icon and whatever's highlighted will see the properties displayed of it. And I'm just going to close that and another way is just to hit control 1 to bring up the properties palette. So now that we've seen different ways to look at just the properties I can also go in and edit them as well. So I can go f and change the start point and you'll see that the line has moved and that is because I changed something in the properties. So it'll also work for other objects of course. Here I've just drawn a circle so I can highlight it and right click and go down the menu to properties and the same palette is there but with different geometry properties such as the center point radius circumference and area which you wouldn't see for a line. So I can change the center point, for example, 4, 4, and also change the diameter to 2, and you'll see the radius changes to 1. So I can close that, and you'll see the circle has moved and the size has moved. So there's a lot of things you can change in the properties. And if I have more than one object selected, like the rectangle and the circle, it'll give me just the common properties in the palette, things like layer and color and here you'll see that I can also select any object out of that group that is was previously selected so I'll close that down and I'm just going to erase the circle and we'll look at some text properties next so I'm just going to type in some basic text and I'll set a specific height of 0.5 units and slowly type in something and now if I look at the properties of this it'll show me that it has very similar things but I can also edit what the text itself reads as I can change the style of the text as well so anything that defines an object can be changed in the properties palette so I've changed the text content and now when I close it you'll see the style has changed and also the content of the text so I'm just going to put some more text in and I'm going to go with a smaller text 0.24 units and just type something in and you'll see that that is the first uh, style of text that I've entered previously like the first one and now I can use a tool called match properties by highlighting it and first putting it on the proper layer and now that it's uh, there I can choose match properties icon and select the text I just created and make the first text look just like it so it has changed the size of the text and the layer as well and match properties will work for things like layers from uh, say the text layer to the rectangle even so it's a lot good to know lots of ways to change properties in AutoCAD and it'll save you redrawing something if you can just quickly change the properties. MyCADSite.com. Thanks.